Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a silicone mold and the baits coming out of it. This is what you're going to need to make the silicone mold. First off, I'm going to be working with these gloves because silicone is pretty sticky. You're going to need this bowl of hot water with soap in it and this little box where the mold is actually going to be formed in. This is just pretty easy. It's just cardboard with tape around it. Just made it before. Then you're going to need a little fish. Then you're going to need super glue and your silicone with a caulking gun. I'm going to be using this clear silicone. Probably can't read it because it's in German. Yeah, I'm in Switzerland right now, but whatever. Um, and yeah, clear silicone has worked every time for me. I've tried it with other silicones, but it didn't work out too good. So use the clear stuff. Okay, to start off, I'm going to glue my little fish to cardboard box. It's got a super flat surface, so that will help it to stick to the cardboard. But I've tried it with other ones and it worked just fine too. I don't know, just my preference. Then what we're gonna do is get some super glue and now you're gonna wanna place it nicely in the middle of the mold. There you have it. Just let this sit for a little bit and then we can already put the silicone on it. I forgot to put my gloves on, so now I'm gonna put them on for the silicone. Okay, now for the silicone, I'm going to be adding about five pumps. I don't even know. I, this one's almost empty, so we'll see how much we get out of it. Two, three, four, five. Ah, let's do one more. Six. So now you want to form this silicone into like a ball and make sure to really like massage it. I know it's pretty sticky and it, it's kind of annoying, but... You really want it to be together, so let's get into it. And after a while, it should actually get easier to work with. It gets less sticky, as you can see, and it's a nice little ball, so yeah, this is good. Okay, so it's been massaged a good amount now. Now I'm going to... Just smoosh it onto this mold. Now I like to start with the tail because that's kind of sensitive. So you really want to make sure that you don't squish it too hard back there. And just keep adding in until it's nicely covered. My cardboard's kind of falling apart here, but that's fine because it's all in already. Now what you want to do is just try I don't know, make it look neat, so push down on it. And yeah, it's actually super cheap, so this mold ended up costing me, I don't know, like a dollar, not even. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half now, I think. I don't know, it could be a little longer too. I think just let this sit as long as you can. I'm just gonna take this wet, um, we'll just take it off. Oh my gosh, and it's coming off just like that. So, I hope you guys see this. This is pretty cool. I've never actually had it come off like that. Oh, and it looks so good. Let's go, dude. What are you doing? Okay, that looks perfect. Pour some plastic oil on this and let's see what the baits look like. Okay, so I'm just going to melt down these old grubs I have. Or I actually asked one of Killy's friends for them. So yeah, thanks to Yoshi. And yeah, I just cut them up so that they melt faster. And yeah, I think I got like four or five of them here. And they should make like this greenish color, so should be good. I took the grubs back out, and now I'm just heating up the pan so that it's just nice and warm and it won't take long. And especially when you're pouring, you really want it to be hot all around the edges. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I don't have an old microwave. And I don't want to use my, or just the kitchen microwave, so I use a heat gun. Works just fine, and yeah, if you guys have the same problem, this works. So yeah, the grubs actually melt pretty fast, as you can see by the smoke there. Make sure you don't have the heat on it too long, and make sure you have good ventilation.
because that smoke can't be too good to inhale so yeah make sure you have a window or something and you also want to have it liquid enough so you can pour it nicely so right here it's actually yeah pretty much perfect after pouring you want to let this sit for a good two three minutes so it can really harden up and yeah it's not liquid anymore it's pretty easy messing up hand pouring as you can see on the tail here but it's super easy you can just trim that up at the end okay so this is what I end up with I showed you guys how to make this silicone mold five centimeters and that made all of these on these ones I tried to make a pintail so it's more like or it doesn't have the end because it kind of messed up a little bit and when I pushed down the silicone the back of the tail it like um what do you call it it just got like pushed further back which then I thought oh what if I make the instead of putting the uh rubber fish in there put this thing in the, there so I made this thing 10 centimeters I made this mold out of it and it was definitely much easier to put the silicone on because it's way harder than rubber and then it made these nice ones so yeah I'm pretty stoked on these and yeah here are the strips I also made didn't show this but we use this a lot in Hawaii just the wrong color here but yeah I thought I'd make those and that was pretty easy Thanks for watching you guys. I have more videos on my channel on how to make easy fishing stuff. So go check those out.